You're now live. Hi! <laughs> Diddy! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a grumpy face. Hello, everyone. If anyone is there, yeah, say hello. Hello, Big Harry! Uh, hello! Can you hear us okay? It's quite windy here today, but um, hopefully you can hear us okay. Yeah, there's definitely people, people are slowly here. joining. Hello, everyone. Give us a wave if you're here. Oh, hello to <laughs> Roger. He's one of our biggest supporters. He's fantastic. <laughs> He's put stickers all over the place, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Yeah. Yes. We've been trying to get stickers everywhere too. Ooh. Hello. So on today's live stream, we're going to be doing um, a bit of cooking for you. We've got the barbecue out. Um, and we're going to do some pizzas. So if you've got a barbecue at home and it's already well, it's already been lit. If you're going to cook, cook a lot of us, I suppose. Um, you could do it on the hob. Yes. That's the yeah. beauty of it. You can do it on a hob. So this is a pizza that you can do in a camper van because we are. If you don't know us, we're a bus and beyond. Uh, we do camper van videos uh, about um, travels and adventures and different reviews of different camper vans. Uh, we've got a lot of experience. We've been doing this four years now. Haven't we have, it's yes, crazy. yeah, and we've got a new edition. And this one, our old edition, has decided not to join us. Come yeah. here, Bentley is here. Come here, Viva. So Come long term viewers will know Bentley. Come our, on. Our Come on. There we there go. We <laughs> so, we've got our huge golden retriever, Bentley, here, who um, likes to steal my hat, that's why he's staring at my head. Um, <laughs> but but if, yeah. if any of you have any questions during this live stream, just fire them in the comments it. below, and we shall. We'll have a look. No, no. <laughs> we'll have a look through. And we'll answer as many questions as we can. But um, Lizzie's going to do a bit of cooking for us. She's going to. Hopefully, it will work out. I've yeah. never done it on a barbecue before. I've always done it on a hob because most camper vans obviously have hobs. Not many of them have ovens, and who doesn't miss pizza when they're away travelling? So we're going to cook a pizza. But also, if you've got any questions. Fire them through to uh, let us know and uh, we'll try and answer them as we go along too about travels, adventures, yeah, anything. anything that you want to ask us, feel free. Just don't ask us what camper van we bought next because we won't answer. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do fire on then with, yeah, um, let's fire with some up. cooking. So what have you done to, to start with? So to prep, I'll, bring, I'll bring you guys a bit closer. What I bought is, um, this is pizza though, we've used this before. This is from the Northern, uh, Northern Dough Company. They're really good. We've used this in our camper van quite a few num uh, times now, and it's been really good. Um, defrost it thoroughly first. These yeah, because it comes frozen, doesn't it? Yeah, but I've defrosted these ones earlier. This is actually, that's one. There we go. That's one altogether, but I've cut it in half because it fits better in what you need next. Now this, this is what we are famous for, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, we use these a lot. This is a ridge monkey. This is a ridge monkey. It's basically like an oven that you can use on your um, your hob in a camper van. So it's amazing. So it basically has two sides to it. It's got a lid like this. Yeah, this is actually one of the older ones. The yeah. more modern ones, you can take the handles off and stuff, and it's a bit easier to, to pack away. But because we don't actually have a camper van at the moment, we weren't quite sure where all our equipment was. So yeah, it's in storage. We pulled it? this one out last minute. So anyway, what I've done is I've got one half of the dough already in the bottom there. All that I've got underneath is just flour. I've got the biggest bag of flour, by the way. Look at how big this bag of flour is. You'd think it was this time last year when no one can get hold of flour. <laughs> it's like I'm storing it up. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do next is basically just what you do for a normal pizza. So I've got some tomato stuff here. This is a roasted garlic. <laughs> our, our dog's going mad because uh, our neighbours put the bins out. <laughs> so you can hear it going crazy. Of all, of all the times, typical. Anyway. Oh, I've forgotten, I've forgotten the spoon. Can you talk to the camera for one sec? Yeah, so let, let me just see if there's any questions on here. We've we got any on here. People can hear us, which is good. Uh, do you like Harvey's hat? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. But yeah, there's plenty of people saying hi. But yeah, so we've, we've had a we've had a few questions uh, sent through because uh, Lizzie Lizzie asked a few people before uh, about some questions, and uh, probably one of the one of the questions that we get asked all the time is how we find campsites how we how we actually um pick the campsites that we're going to stay at and we, we have a bit of a procedure that we we go through because we we're quite specific on on the type of campsites that we like because because we have a dog 
and we want to go places that we can easily walk the dog from the campsite especially when you've got a camper van like ours where you put the pop top up and you might have an awning connected you don't really want to be driving places to walk the dog so we have um, a bit of a, a method of of looking for a campsite and the way we the way we start is first of all we decide where we want to stay so whether it's the lake district whether it's north wales whether it's yeah anywhere and we then um we'll then look through and we'll decide what kind of campsite we want so we might search if we fancy somewhere luxurious we might search luxury campsites in the lake district we might search um campsites with a lake because uh, we might take a paddleboard that kind of thing so we we do that first we'll and narrow it down that way and then the key thing that that we kind of uh, flip between is we'll we'll look at the campsite and see where it is and then look on google earth and that gives you a really good idea as to whether it's going to be easy enough to to walk from that particular campsite so yeah we, we do a lot of that and generally when we're traveling through europe we do a lot of, of that the night before because we often stay in one campsite for one or two nights um, and then move on I, I tend to sit there in the evening and search where we're going to head to next by doing that exact procedure so um, yeah sometimes it can take quite a while and it can be quite frustrating if I keep finding places where it doesn't look like you can walk from the, the campsite and that, that is a real big big thing for us looks like Lizzie is so what I've done I've just put some uh, tomato sauce on it just as you would do a normal pizza then we've got some cheese on there and some pepperoni so we're just going to try it now the idea is you need to have a really low heat so if you're using a hob put this on a really low heat at first like the lowest it will go the yeah. absolute lowest it will go um obviously with a barbecue it's not as easy to to choose the temperature so, it so might it's going to be really interesting to see if this actually works it, it might need to be lifted up a bit higher but yeah. um we've never tried this before bentley's back again he's finished barking at the neighbor now uh, yeah so we've got uh someone's asked what's the make of the dough so oh. that's northern dough company isn't it yeah northern dough company we absolutely love that in fact the first time we used that they they'd actually someone who worked for the company had seen our our uh, video and uh yeah they tweeted and said thank you for using our dough so yeah big, big shout out they to did them. say they were going to send us some though and they never did ah oh, i want uh, like a year supply so... of them Preferably but we, we still buy it because we love it. <laughs> what else we got? So someone's also asked, have you got the uh, Ridge Monkey saucepan type as well? Yes, we do. We have. Actually, yeah, and that's been really good. So we took that away with us around Europe this time last year. Uh, obviously not during lockdown, it was just before. But um, when we were in Spain, Portugal, we were using it to make some really nice curries. Yeah. And considering I was pregnant at the time and everything made me feel sick, <laughs> the curries <laughs> was about all I was craving, wasn't it? And they were yeah. amazing in it. So you can leave them just on the hob to just boil away. It's so good. Yeah, and again, really it, clever. it acts like a, a bit of an oven as well, yeah. a, bit, a bit of a bigger oven. Yeah. What else we've got? Really so, nice oh, someone says, uh, oh, can you can you drop it round uh, when it's cooked, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> no, no problem at all. <laughs> Someone's also said, I bet wild pizza tastes better than shop bought. Oh, definitely. absolutely does. Yeah. And another thing that you can do in these Ridge Monkeys is garlic bread, which is like the best oh, thing ever. It's the best garlic bread. It's better than in an oven. Yeah. Isn't it? It's How's so it looking? Much better. It is. I hope. Well, I don't know. I'm a bit scared. Go on, open it. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hopefully, the camera doesn't fall down. Can you see that? Oh, it's looking good actually. Ooh. So it's best to keep it shut, really. You don't really want to open it too often. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully, it doesn't burn on the bottom because that's really what you're trying to avoid, isn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, fingers crossed it'll go all right. I was going to do some cookies on this as well. You can do all sorts in the Ridge Monkey, which is what's amazing about it. So we've done cookies before, and even there was one video I did cupcakes. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did it for Valentine's Day, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, years ago. That's when we were still without a child and we still loved each other <laughs> someone someone said i was fooled by your april fool's post oh sorry we haven't actually bought an aeroplane <laughs> <laughs> that, that was quite good though. it was quite good it was good well the pictures though were from about nine years ago yeah a bit fresh faced then yeah you didn't have your beard yeah you grew your beard after our wedding so <laughs> none of our wedding photos were relevant within like a few weeks because they just didn't look like us did they and i got all my hair cut off and gave it to charity didn't what I, so questions have we got on the um let's have a look because we've got some great questions before we even started so do you have any tips for camping with a baby or toddler 
Well, well if you have any, send them to us. Yeah, because we've not done it. <laughs> he arrived in uh, the middle of a pandemic, and yeah, we've not been allowed to go anywhere yet. So. He's good as gold, though, isn't he? Yeah. So I think he would actually really enjoy camping, and we yeah. have every plan to take him constantly oh, travelling. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. He's gonna he's gonna see the world definitely. Yeah, and Bentley, of course. We're not forgetting you. Don't you worry. <laughs> he's Aww. looking. It's because he can smell the food now. Yeah, he's turned up. Again. He's like, what's what's going on here? <laughs> what have you got? Oh, is it? it smells good. It does it smells smell really good. good. Another question. Uh, someone said. Oh, that is looking good, actually. You might want to have a look. Oh, let's have a look. Let's bring you into a look. Well, that smells not smells believable. Like I wish it was smell of vision. Yeah. Have a look. Oh, so the cheese is starting to melt. The pepperoni is starting to go. How's the base looking? I think. Because that's always the bit that's quite tricky to stop yeah. on burning. No, it's all Looks right good. at the moment. Yep, all good. Someone else has asked, um, what's our favourite UK campsite? Ooh. That's quite a tricky one because it depends on the region, obviously. But um, Well, we would have originally said Old Oaks, wouldn't we? Yeah, we used to go to Old Oaks a lot, but that is an adults-only campsite. But it's, so it's dead to us now. <laughs> the facilities, <laughs> had a child. <laughs> the, uh, facilities are like top-notch. Uh, yeah. The pictures are all really good. You can walk to uh, Glastonbury, yeah. uh, the actual town. The Glastonbury Tour is yeah. very close by as well, isn't it? And that's a really nice walk up the hill. But Although we had to transfer some sheep, didn't we, to get there and we had Bentley with us. Yeah. And that's always a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit yeah, they weren't too sure whether he was a sheep as well. <laughs> but someone actually uh, messaged at me a couple of days ago because they were planning on going to the Scottish Highlands and um one of our favourite campsites that we we've actually got a story to tell about that because we found it by complete accident and Often, often this happens. You you plan your routes and you think I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay there uh, this day, that day. Well, but what you'll actually find we've is got it, a bit black on the bottom. A bit burnt on the bottom. We won't show that. We'll we'll cut that out. But yeah, sometimes you'll be you'll plan to look at uh, you'll plan to go and stay at certain campsites. But what you'll find is that something will come up. Now we were staying in a campsite called Bunry Campsite in Scotland. Absolutely stunning campsite. It's a caravan and motel club site. Um, Highly recommended. So yeah, if you if you ever up that way, stay at that campsite. And we'd planned to then head a bit further north, but Bentley. Oh, pizza is done. Check that out. It's that looks amazing. Boiling hot. I think we went a few seconds over, and unfortunately, that's burnt the bottom a little bit. No, it's not too bad. bad. It's not too bad. We'll show you. It's not too bad at all. There you go. So it's not bad. <laughs> We're partially there. I'm going to do another one though. Sounds good. But yeah, um, so we were staying at Bunbury campsite, but Bentley actually ended up injuring his paw, and we had to go to the local vets. And uh, they were really, really good. They they sorted him out, fixed him up, gave us some antibiotics. But some one of the um, nurses there actually said, "Oh, have you ever been towards Mora?" And obviously, we hadn't. We'd never been that way at all. And um, she basically showed us where it was on the map. And we headed that way instead because it was a recommendation. We headed that way, and there's a campsite. What's what's the place called? Is it Sunnyside, Sunnyside, Sunnyside um, touring, touring and, camping. and camping site? And the beach is beautiful, white sandy beaches. The um, the sea was clear blue blue seas. The weather was absolutely fantastic. It was incredible, and we would never have found that if it wasn't for obviously the unfortunate situation that Bentley was in. Um, so yeah, good things came from that, which was which was really good. So that's another campsite that we highly recommend. The weather actually changed overnight, and it was pretty horrific the, the following day, which is pretty much what Scotland does all the time. But yes, uh, highly recommended. Right now, a top tip here is when you get the dough, do not work it too hard or anything. Literally, once it's defrosted, just stretch it. You're not going to throw it up in the air. Don't like they do in Italy. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are for it. Did it work? So, once you've stretched it out, you can just pop it in the bottom of the pan, again exactly like I have. I've just used a bit of uh, flour in the bottom again. You might want yeah. to use a little bit of oil. I was going to say, can you use oil? You can use oil. Um, I tend to use a bit of oil and flour if I can. Um, but I've forgotten the oil, so we'll keep going. <laughs> We've got any more <laughs> questions? Pizza thing. Need you face to unlock it. Thank you. <laughs> See what other questions we've got. Um, 
someone else has said, what's your must have must have piece of kit for a trip? Ooh. Well, Ridge Monkey is very very high up there. Definitely, we use it all yeah, the time. We do. Um, we even use it at home, which is even better. Yeah, I would say probably the Ridge Monkey is the highest on our list, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd say you're probably right there. But I mean, other equipment wise, like. It depends what you're going for, really, because we, we've, we've been on many travels where we've needed like an awning or something, and we wanted that outdoor space, and we wanted to take the camper van elsewhere, so quite often an awning is quite a good one. Yeah. Nice seating to sit outside, although yeah. the, caravan, the camper van sorry, comes with quite nice seats, but they're not as comfortable. Um, we have like a storage bag sometimes on the back, that's handy to give you, yeah. give you extra storage. And also a mattress topper. Uh, the beds are fairly comfy, but... Uh, a mattress topper just gives you that much nicer, um, uh, much better night's sleep. Uh, someone else has asked... Um, Big coat, usually. <laughs> <laughs> How do you name your vans, Ooh, your camper vans? That's my favourite question. <laughs> well, Sean hates the fact that I name our vans. I'm, yeah, I don't, I've never really got it, naming vans. I'm, I'm obviously in the minority, I think. Loads of people name their vehicles, but... Whereas yeah. I, I have named every single one of our cars and ours. So we named, we had a VW California, we named that Hollywood. And obviously Hollywood is in California, so you'd think naturally that that was the, uh, the reason why we did it. But actually, all of our cars and vans have been named after Top Gun characters. Yeah, we're so a big, Hollywood. big Top Gun fan. <laughs> And there's a new film coming out soon, isn't there? So yes. um, thankfully we've run it, out of names. Yeah, so. it can give us some more names because it's not just the camper vans that we name after Top Gun characters. Um, it's all yeah, the cars, it's all, yeah. All so the vehicles. The Tesla is called Bob. Yeah, which is actually <laughs> which is actually going to be a new Top Gun character. Yeah, Bob. That'd be quite cool. But I've pretty much run through all of them, I think. Yeah, all of the names, including <laughs> yeah. Charlie, who is the call sign for the instructor lady so i've used that's actually why they had to bring a new film out yeah. because <laughs> we've run out yeah um someone else has said uh, how many vans have you had and what van do you use now oh, well we've only had the one van we've only owned one camper van we owned it from from new it was a 2000 early 2017 model um absolutely loved it yeah and, but we recently sold it because we've got some other Sorry, other plans it. coming haven't we yeah not the airplane that you saw on <laughs> april fools but um yeah we can't really say much more about that so uh, there's also some other things in the pipeline as well which which will be interesting um well, yeah, we've got many it. things in the pipeline which is quite exciting yeah yeah so stay tuned for that we just need um yeah this pandemic to go away so that they can hurry up and build it and get it to us. Faith Goodman sense. has asked what is the red slash orange thing behind Lizzie? That's this massive beast here is ridiculous. This is, this is oh, I'll let Sean explain. Cause... I got a bit excited and wanted a, a beastie barbecue so that's our home barbecue. Ooh. It's called a uh, Kamado Joe, Even Big Joe. About it. It's enormous, and um, yeah, it's a ceramic barbecue. Obviously, no good for camping. It's, it weighs about 150 kilos, something like that. So, it, you should have seen the uh, mission that it was to get it into place. But you'll see above us that I've been uh, during lockdown, been building a. I've been building a bit of a barbecue hut. It's not finished yet. I need to build a kitchen worktop along here. This is just a bit of a makeshift um, mm. uh, worktop, a few planks and stuff. But um, yeah, there's a lot more to come of this. But um, yeah, it's not very good for camping though, so it's a bit a bit useless. That is absolutely lovely. That's crunchy. Someone that asks, when did you start YouTube? Oh, about was it about four years ago that we started? Yeah, at least now. I think it five? says 2000, December 2016 on the yeah, so it might be on, on YouTube, and it was a, it was started as a bit of a hobby because I wanted to kind of show our our holidays really for our own benefit. I just wanted to keep a bit of a log of of our trips away. Do you want this bit? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> might be too hot. Mm. Amazing, amazing. It is good. Yeah, I wanted to show our trips away and keep a bit of a bit of like a photo album, really, of, of our trips. And it all got a bit carried away. It then became far more than it than it ever initially set out to be. Mm. But it's fantastic. We love it. We love doing it. And it's it's kept us travelling 
loads, hasn't it? It's, yeah. it's given us so many opportunities that we wouldn't normally have. It's been brilliant. And, you know, now that we can, we've got Harvey here and that we can continue it and help hopefully show him the world once lockdown ends. I'm trying to work out why he keeps looking up there. Have um, you done it right? Another thing to talk about as well was um, uh, the beast from the East trip. You know, I wanted I wanted a bit of a few stories to, to oh. tell. But, and I don't know if um, so. Some of our viewers will know that we uh, we did a trip with a huge bell tent awning called the Glorning, um, and the initial plan was just to go away for a couple of nights, try out the the awning, and then go on to my parents' house in Lincolnshire. Um, but we set off and. This is where you should really look at the forecast before you, you travel. Uh, we got there and it was a lovely day actually when we arrived. It was cool, but um, no, he's, he's not enjoying this story. Um, it was a lovely, lovely day when we arrived and um, our good friends from the Indie Projects, they came to visit as well. And uh, yeah, it was, it was very, very nice uh, uh, trip away. But then the weather took a turn for the worse and we did document this all in the video but there's a lot of stuff that we didn't cover in the video and, and as the weather turned i don't some of you will know that in this glorning you have a wood burning stove which is fantastic so we're all huddled around this wood burning stove we were making pizza we were. The wood burning stove again. yeah and we just kept having to get closer and closer because the outside temperature was getting colder and colder and we were really huddled around and in the end it got to the stage where the oh, weather was so bad. That looks good. Crunchy. The weather was so bad that we um, we couldn't actually then move on to my my parents' house because if we disconnected the awning from the van to take it down, we were, we feared it was going to blow away because the the winds were so strong. And there were um, there was snow all around us, so it was freezing cold, and also we couldn't leave the awning and drive away. Because and and go and visit because obviously we didn't think it'd still be there so yeah it's all it, and it also happened uh to be when the same time that i got kidney stones so oh it was just yeah a bit of a bit of a disaster trip but but we survived you know we uh, <laughs> we made we had it a complete through, game we? because when the indie projects left they actually went to get us supplies didn't they yeah because we hadn't planned to be there for that long they had to go and get us more firewood to keep yeah to keep the we had like tins of soup and things, I think, in the yeah in the in there, but it, it was, didn't have a lot. <laughs> it was too warm. Uh, sorry, it was too cold to use the bed up in the pop top. So we uh, we didn't have Harvey at that time, but there was uh, us two and Bentley all sleeping on the the bed downstairs. Well, it was noisy. I think that was more what it was. It wasn't yeah. so cold because yeah, we it, we yeah. camped in like minus eight degrees before and slept in the pop top and been absolutely fine because it's got a heater. Yeah, when it's when it's really windy, the the wind just whips through the the side a bit like in a tent and uh, but we were all huddled up i had to have a hot water bottle on my back where my kidneys were just to try and relieve the pain <laughs> oh yeah it was entertaining we had a real game yeah. there didn't we it was yeah. really good fun well, however if... the video looks beautiful yes <laughs> yeah positive. yeah that's where sometimes um the way videos are edited you don't <laughs> always see the whole lot we try and cover as much as we can but mm. yeah when you when you're in pain with kidney stones and it's freezing cold outside you get either yeah, you, you kind of lose the inspiration to to film at that stage yeah but, um, we, we kept going though and, and the videos were pretty interesting i don't think we showed quite the full story but on that note one of the questions was um how do we edit and how do we oh, learn, yeah. learn to do it yeah so that um what well, First of all, I started, didn't I? Yes. I had a bit. Of, I had an interest in it anyway, um, just because I've always found that kind of thing a bit, a bit fascinating. I quite like the f the fact that on an Apple uh, laptop or iMac you get uh, free iMovie, so you you can have a play around with that. So I used to have a play around, and and I was I was into it that way anyway. And the good thing about editing is as you as you progress and you want to do more so you want to try different effects you want to try different just different color grading that kind of thing anything that you're unsure about you can you can use youtube to find out how to do it and there's there's tons of stuff on youtube to to give you step by steps <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> to give you step by steps on how to how to do different things so um so yeah we did that and then recently you well during lockdown last year 
because I was furloughed and pregnant, um, we just decided, well, why don't I learn to edit as well? So most of the videos that you've seen in about the last year have been me editing. Yeah, instead. yeah, yeah, you've been doing loads of it, yeah. you, which is great, which And which I think really we've helps. got a very similar style. Yeah. I don't think anyone really noticed that it changed from Sean to me. Um, and yeah, you've, you've stopped checking my work. Yeah, 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 there's certainly a bit of that. Well, I think that, I think it was the, the Well, I, was, I wasn't wasn't sure, yeah, so I, I still wanted Sean to continually check what I was doing. But yeah. now it's getting to the point where when Sean edits a video, I'm like on him and ask him what he's doing. And yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. a few new tricks and things that I've learned. Yeah. So now it's quite nice because we can both learn different skills and yeah. it'll be interesting to see how it progresses. It gives us more flexibility as well. So if, um, especially now having this one, who's obviously <laughs> riveted in our conversation, um, he, one of us oh, can no, go and film. Like... Yeah, he is. <laughs> one of us can go and film, um, come back with the footage whilst the other person edits and it, it gives us gives us that bit, <laughs> bit more flexibility. Right, there's a few questions on here. Let's have a look. He's, he's just over six months now, so he started on solid foods and I've just given him a really big meal before we came out here and that's obviously done the trick. <laughs> see. He's, he's out like a light. I'm still eating, by the way. Je Jenny's autocorrect is hilarious because it, it, she says, I think you're biting your son, but, but she meant boring, <laughs> which is true. Um, let's have a look. So Wizards... Wizards Design says, how did you get into camper van reviews? I think that stemmed from doing the review initially of our own camper van. Yeah. And it went down really well. People enjoyed watching it. And um, I think people were asking like what our opinions were on a lot of other vans too, like how it was going to work for them. And um, we, we're very much the sort of people who want to show our viewers what the van is but we want them also to be able to make their own decisions on what will work for them yeah we always try and do it as a tour like we'll show people around and it's up because what works for us won't work for a family of five or it won't work necessarily for just a couple they might not want certain things so or even a couple with a smaller dog you know yeah they've got such a massive dog it's not like so i watch car reviews all the time but a there's a million different four-door saloons and you want to know why one's better than the other so yeah we tend to do it as tours rather than reviews and it just then allows people to decide whether they want to then go further on uh, and then once they've seen our video do they want to actually go and uh, look for themselves so yeah we, we tend to do it like that but mm -hmm. um yeah and they tend to be successful don't they people yeah. enjoy enjoy I really enjoy them. we do do the occasional full-on review consumer advice yeah sorry i shouldn't talk while i'm eating <laughs> They're so good though. Uh, what else we got? Um, Tor says, uh, we're thinking of driving by, yeah, I'm not going to say, I, you know I can't say that word. Salt, salt, salt Jelsnes, salt Jelsnes, uh, camping on the way south. Do you want a report from there? Absolutely. That was in yeah. our video about the top five campsites that we that we want to visit when we can. So that's, um, yeah, up in Norway. So absolutely, yeah. And you'll have to tell me again how to say it. I know you did a video and showed me, but uh, <laughs> um, someone says, "Oh, is that a Weber Smoky Joe?" And what are you cooking on it? So yeah, we've just done some pizzas, which you can see here. You've... We've got the Weber here. This is the this is pretty much the camping version. So this is quite a small one. This is probably the second time we've ever used it. Yeah, it's bad, really. That was uh, one of these situations where I was in a garden centre and um, it was on offer, and I bought it because it matched our old barbecue which is over here that one there it matched that it's like a small version of that one so we bought it's, that it's ridiculous how many barbecues you've had know, and yet we ridiculous. have the camper van as well which has got hobs and all sorts so <laughs> look at this guy this is ridiculous we did have the camper van <laughs> oh harvey fast asleep um so yeah we've not used it much we we actually used it on the first ever motorhome trip that we did we borrowed a motorhome didn't we and we um from a company down south and we never actually um, filmed it because it was way before we even considered doing that no. but it, it gave it, it whetted the appetite didn't it to, to go and uh, get ourselves a camper van. Definitely and we weren't even sure then I think one good question to ask is why did we pick the VW California? Yeah yeah well yeah and that was quite interesting because that was that changed over time as it well. It did yeah so we were completely well I, it, I think it was more me I was more thinking that we would be better off with a motorhome which is why we borrowed one purely because it's bigger I thought we'd be able to fit the dog in better but actually 
Um, we then went to BW to have a look at one of the Californias because you'd seen that they had one in. Yeah, yeah. And um, the guy just gave us the keys and said, have a look around as you wish to. The pop top was up and I was absolutely convinced the pop top would not be big enough for yeah. the two of us at all. And I figured it would be great if both of us could sleep upstairs and Bentley could sleep downstairs, but I wasn't convinced it was going to be big enough. As soon as we saw one though, it it's huge. amazing they're like a swiss yeah. army knife you know you, you pull up and they just unfold everything pops out and you set up it's amazing how much you can fit inside a a uh, relatively small vehicle so yeah we, we got a bit obsessed and, and i think through before all that i was adamant that i wanted a toilet on board but yeah we realized that that was a compromise that we were willing to 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 have and we just went um we went with that and we absolutely loved it also it means that you can use it as an everyday vehicle yeah. which, which i think that was the biggest fantastic. part too the fact that we could use it as an everyday vehicle and we didn't have to buy another car as well and we didn't know how much we were going to use the camper van and i think a lot of people go through this yeah. because it's quite a big vehicle it is quite a lot to take on isn't it but it's yeah. it's perfect really yeah yeah exactly perfect. uh another question here as well tippers says is a factory california any better than a conversion like Westphalia, etc. It completely depends on mm. what you want from a van. Um, Bentley's right here. You want some pizza? Each um, each van has it. has its <laughs> pros and cons. Some um, like a, a California, we really liked the build quality. We really liked the fact that if you have an issue with it, you can just go to any VW dealership and get it fixed. Um, the residuals are really good on a on a California. Um, we've covered this in quite a lot of our videos as well so if you are new yeah and you want to see what we're up to check us out on youtube it's under a bus and beyond and you'll be able to find all about what we do yeah. our yeah. camper van probably one of the latest videos is we sold our camper van but don't <laughs> panic we have got plans <laughs> uh, but also um also with a conversion if you want something bespoke if you want it to have um real cool vibrant colors and things like that well you don't get that from a factory in california so yeah there's pros and cons and also at the minute residuals on any camper van motorhome is fantastic so um yeah you don't really have anything to worry about have we got any more questions before we um we've been going on a bit haven't we for, for a little while i think we've covered the questions on here shall i have a look on my phone Someone says, is the Ridge Monkey made out of cast iron? I'd say so. It's definitely metal. I don't know if it's quite as robust as cast iron, to be honest. I mean, it is really very robust. Yeah. And it's very thick as well, which is how you sort of manage not to burn the bottom of stuff, generally. Someone says, your baby is so relaxed. <laughs> Just <laughs> hilarious, this, isn't it? Can't believe he's fast asleep. He does this all the time, though. We, we were sat in our friend's garden yesterday, weren't we? Because now that lockdown's eased a little bit and we can join other families in the garden we've sat in their garden and i had harvey in my arms and he yeah. just fell asleep i didn't do anything he just fell asleep so we're very lucky yeah so all this has <laughs> we're to aware of how lucky we are what's the link with cotswold outdoors so cotswold outdoors got in touch with us and said that they're having this weekend bonanza of um camp classes, camping they? masterclass yeah and i think master, their idea is masterclass just master class or master class depending on where you come from but their idea is just to get everyone out and enjoying outside again and especially yeah. after lockdown and things like that and the sun coming out it's nice to get out so they've asked us just to give you guys a bit of a master class on how to use equipment really yeah and, and if you whatever you know the fact that you can do pizza in a barbecue i think we've proved is fantastic yeah if you go onto their instagram page as well and have a good look through though there are a couple of guys yesterday doing videos uh, one was about um, from the veggie vagabonds about um sustainable camping and also there's um some yoga coming up as well so uh we'll yeah. be trying that out yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll i'm gonna i might keep him attached to me so that i don't have to do it <laughs> no you'll have to do it still baby really? yoga is a thing oh yeah yeah well you can have the dog attached to you then he's massive can you imagine <laughs> He's been getting a few bits of pizza too. Uh, Tippers has also asked, uh, how's security on your Cali? Are they very nickable? Kind of sounds a bit like you're planning on stealing one. But <laughs> the, the security is as good as any any vehicle, I think. Yeah. Um, you take take measures to to make sure that it's locked up when you're 
on a campsite and away and stuff but um the thing is on a campsite yeah. as well you might have the pop top up and a lot of people have been like oh do you leave the pop top up when you're not there when on a campsite it's generally pretty secure yeah i think you have to you, there's only so much you can do isn't yeah. there otherwise you're, you're constantly worried and um, plus we used to we've, we've sold it now but we used to own a um land rover defender and they're about as nickable as it gets so yeah anything is good compared to, the to that. point that one night at two in the morning sean was looking out the window and he said someone's nicking the land rover and i was <laughs> leapt out of bed only to find that all it was was one of the neighbors was parking in the corner and the lights yeah. were shining and it just it it looked like someone was driving out of our driveway yeah, and it was quite an old they were. diesel engine so it sounded like the the defender <laughs> Um, how is it driving on the wrong side of the road in Europe? Uh, once you've negotiated the first roundabout, which is usually in Calais, um, it's absolutely fine. They've got it's a lot so of signs reminding you too, haven't they? Yeah, and it's a lot easier if you have a passenger who can do the tolls for you. Um, on one of our trips, Bentley decided that he wanted to keep climbing through the middle and try and get into the front. So as a result of that, Lizzie had to travel in the back with him. And therefore, I was left... Uh, to fend for myself at every toll booth which was i just ended up filming because it was hilarious watching him clamber across the seats <laughs> to try and especially in the grand cali because it's so much bigger it's a bit of a procedure isn't it you yeah. have to i have to stop undo my seatbelt dive across uh, in fact well, it was easier one of those grabby sticks you know those, those long like <laughs> They have like animals or things on the end. Yeah, or what you can do is you can get um, like data tag things where it just automatically builds I mean, you. That's the more boring that's, option. Yeah, it is the more boring <laughs> option, definitely. But yeah, so I think we've kind of covered yeah. all the questions, haven't we? Definitely, yeah. We've and I think made we've, two we've successfully, and I've eaten quite a lot of it, but we've yeah, successfully which, made a melted, crispy, yummy pizza. Which I need to eat because I'm hungry. Yeah, I bet you are. We'll bend these fishing around for food as well you keep thinking that more is going to drop for him so. yes yeah but thank you so much uh, for coming along on this little master class that and we've thank you um, to Cotswold Outdoors for inviting us it's been nice yeah. uh, getting to chat to you all stay tuned for later on today and for tomorrow as well where there's more classes um, but yeah thank you so much for, for watching yeah and, and we will see you all very soon and don't forget to subscribe to A Bus and Beyond on YouTube if you want to see more of our travels and adventures and reviews yeah and also tag us as well in, in your um, pizza making photos because yes. we really want to see what, what you made um, try not to burn the bottom not yeah. too not too yeah. hot yeah <laughs> but yes use an oven if you're at home <laughs> I'm yeah yeah or, no use the barbecue or dominoes but <laughs> <Dominoes. laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching and uh yeah we see you next see time you very soon. bye everyone bye do you have to turn this off no